Um, switching things over to English, uh, before we begin properly, I must say that I am currently working from home because I have COVID um, so far. I'm grateful that I have mild symptoms, but um, I kind of said this in Spanish just a moment ago. I'm grateful to the vaccine for that. Um, doctor, am I right in saying that my symptoms are probably milder because of the vaccine? Yes, I'm sorry that you that you got it, uh, but I'm glad that you were vaccinated because we know that uh, an experience has shown that although there's these mutations on the, on the spike protein that make the Omicron variant be infectious, even if you have immunity by a vaccine or by a previous acquired infection, we've seen that people who are vaccinated are more protected against severe disease, against uh, hospitalization or death. So yes, we can say that vaccine is helping you. And Good. well, I'm glad that you're vaccinated. Well, me too, from the sound of it. And uh, switching topics a little bit to I think our main point of discussion today, the FDA is now advising that future booster sh shots include protection against Omicron variants specifically. Uh, what do you make of that decision, doctor? Well, as we were talking about a moment ago, we know that uh, spike protein on the virus has been mutating dramatically in the past uh, year or so. This is the dominant variant right now. And we know that uh, this variant has been able to tease the immune system and to uh, infect people even if they're vaccinated or if they have immunity, uh, natural immunity caused by a previous infection. So uh, even though we know that these books, that the uh, original vaccine is good to prevent uh, hospitalization, death, or severe disease, there's still a group of people who are getting infected and are still sadly getting uh, severe disease, people with uh, high risk. So the logical steps would be to try to create a vaccine that adapted to that mutation of the virus. And this is what uh, FDA is proposing. Uh, is that what went into the FDA's decision, uh, some of those studies that you just mentioned? That's what's going on. And also there's a big, uh, uh, they presented data from a, uh, from a, stu a study that was made by, uh, uh, I think it was Walter Reed and uh, Hospital and Pfizer, in which they were applying the vaccine with the, with the mutation on it, uh, the vaccine for the Omicron, and they found that the number of antibodies increased a hundred percent over those who didn't have the the new vaccine. So this is where where this research comes from. Uh, doctor, do you expect future booster shots to specifically target any potential future variants? Uh, that's what we're going to be having, and we are hoping that soon we will have the variant, uh, the vaccine that's going to be uh, focused on this variant. Uh, the questions are still there. Uh, who should require the booster? Is it going to be for everyone or just for people who are high risk? And also if they're going to make it a polyvalent uh, vaccine, meaning that it has different types of, uh, of uh, viruses that it's going to be attacking, or is it just going to be focused on the Omicron? We'll uh, find out a bit more about that. Um, uh, doctor, I guess finally here, uh, can you tell us more about the vaccine clinics that Servicios de la Raza is organizing now and uh, moving forward? Yeah, uh, so we at Servicios de la Raza will have an event on Saturday at uh, two, between two and four in Westwood in front of a, a restaurant that's called Carlos. Uh, there's going to be a festival about mole. For those of you who don't uh, know mole, mole is a delicious Mexican uh, food. So you can go there, enjoy the food and also be, we're going to be there vaccinated between two and four. And on Sunday, we're going to be in uh, Brighton also uh, uh, attending uh, immigrant community there. So a couple of different opportunities, as you just mentioned. Um, doctor, thank you so much for those. And once again, uh, if you have a question either in English or in Spanish, for Dr. Ricardo Gonzalez Fisher, please email me at chris.bianchi.90s.com and I'll make sure that it is answered. Um, that will do it for this week's look at COVID-19 in the Hispanic community, specifically here in Colorado. Um, gracias, doctor. Thanks to everyone and we'll see you again here next week. Thank you, Chris, and get well soon. We'll do it. Thank you. Spirit. Yes, thank you. Bye.